We'll start a new series today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's called Maximizing Christ in Christmas. Mac, everybody say maximizing Christ. Let's say it again. Maximizing Christ in Christmas. Okay, see, the thing is, Christmas is about Christ. Amen. It's about Christ. I know everybody makes it about a whole bunch about Santa Claus and about what they can get and what they're going to, you know, but it's about Christ. What cell is on, but it's about Christ. And I want to talk about how to maximize Christ in Christ through giving, the, which is the remedy for materialism. Amen? So if you turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Matthew chapter 6, and if you can highlight this scripture in the word of God, and let's pray. Father, we just thank you right now, and we honor you for your presence. And Lord, we just pray right now as we enter into your presence, Holy Spirit, you have a way of speaking to every person like you're speaking directly to them. Holy Spirit, would you do that for us today? Speak to our hearts. And we'll forever be grateful. Just one word from you can change us for an eternity. Change us, God. Transform us. Don't let us leave the same way we came. Howard sits down. Holy Spirit, stand up and have your way. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. One thing we found, uh, it was an ad that came in the mail. And in this ad... Christmas ad. It said, love thy neighbor. Just make sure you have a bigger TV than him. And then it said, come get it at our store. Somewhere, I don't think that's what Christmas is about. What do you think? See, it was sort of like the Grinch who dressed up like Satan Claus, I mean Santa Claus, to steal everyone's, every else present. Some people just want things so that other people won't have it. And people can be lower than them. Hey, get you a TV if you want to get you a TV. But don't do it because you're trying to keep up with someone else. Are, are y'all with me? And let me tell you something, man. I love big TVs. Amen? Amen. I'm seeing the big 72 inches. So an 80 inch at... at, at, at um, Costco's, and it looks good, amen? But I got a big 55 right there in my living room. There's nothing wrong with it. Amen, light bulb, chair and floor. And then I got four heads that I'm looking at that I got four young children I got sent through college debt-free. Amen? Are y'all with me? So I can say, man, I can get caught up in this temporal or I can get caught up in this what? Long term. Are you with me? Because, you know, isn't it funny how the ads, again, like looking at this ad, make it say, okay, you know, you would, don't let them have a bigger, love your neighbor, just don't let them have a bigger TV than yours. That's so like the world. Are you with me? You, you're, we're bombarded by advertisement, all these Christmas, I mean, I look at even at the, the kids station on Nickelodeon, Disney, and they advertise the toys like you just have to have this toy. How you, if you want to be somebody, you need to have this toy. And you know what? It's not much different then on the adult networks as well, they advertise like you need this gadget. You need this next phone. This phone with this new feature on it. The, the latest Samsung. The late whatever it is. This latest iPhone. If you don't have this, you're not in it. See what the word of God says. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 6. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. Now, this is a not, this is, now I understand why I'm sharing. Now, no, where are we reading? We're reading the Word of God, right? In your Bible, who's speaking right now? Jesus. Jesus is talking. If you got a, a, a physical Bible, it's in the red. If you have a digital where it labels when Jesus, Jesus this is Him speaking, amen? amen? Jesus Christ, Christ Miss, is named after Him. I think He has something to say about it, amen? It says, lay up, for you, lay up not for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, 
and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Those things that are eternal. Where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Amen. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some of the treasures of the Holy Spirit. The fruits of the Holy Spirit. Come. What are some? Who can name them? Come on. Peace. Long suffering. Patience. Self-control. Self-control or temperance. Yes. Joy. Come on. No one named this one. Come on. This is what this whole love. It's in Galatians. You can turn to Galatians and cheat if you need to. Come on. What else? You named six there. Amen? Amen. It's my turn to Galatians chapter. I won't tell you which chapter. You got to find them. Amen? The fruit of the Spirit. These are things that you should be laying up. These are things that you should be imparting to your kids and you should be investing on a daily basis. Amen? Teaching them skill and a trade and loving your kids. Are y'all with me? Because I'm telling you, the shoes will pass away. The cars will pass away. All these other things will pass away. But I tell my kids all the time, I tell them, I say, you know what, you got this right here, but this is what is most important. I want you to understand this point right here. If, 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 if Jesus takes me home tomorrow, I want you to understand this from me. You got them all? Let, go ahead and call them out real quickly. I'm going to repeat them after you. Love. Love joy. joy. Peace. Peace long-suffering. Long Gentleness. Everybody say gentleness. We well, forget that. Now keep going. Goodness. Goodness, faith. goodness and mercy for me all the days of my faith. How many know you need some faith? How many know you need to pass down your faith? Oh, we got silent here. Are y'all with me? Yes, How many know you need to pass down your faith? You can give them a new pair of, 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 of jeans, but how many know faith is more important? Because if I give you faith, you get your own jeans. What up, faith? Meekness. Oh, mean, teachable. Oh, the world would be different if we had some more meek people in the world. Meek. Now, how many know when, when, a, when you see a child not meek, that speaks of the parents? That doesn't speak of society. It speaks of the parents. Meekness, being teachable. What was the fourth one? I mean, the last one? Temperance. Self control. Are y'all with? Those are the fruit of the Spirit. That's saying when you have the Spirit of God in your life, there's fruit coming for it. When a tree is bearing forth fruit, guess what? It's productive. Amen? What, what chapter was that? It was Galatians what? Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Please add that to your study. Amen? Now, some time ago, Milton Bradley released a game called Mall Madness. Anybody ever play that game? Have you ever played Monopoly? Mm -hmm. If you played play Monopoly, raise your hand. You played Monopoly before? Well, this game was totally opposite of Monopoly, and it was very popular. It was called Mall Madness. And it's a board game similar to Monopoly, but here's the description. You start out with $200, and the object of the game is to lose all of your money. Did you hear me? You're let loose in a shopping mall with $200. You go to it and spend it all. You empty your pocket first, and the first person to get rid of all their money wins the game. When you spend every cent, your marker moves triumphantly into the winner's space, labeled broke. And you win. And the game even features an electronic voice that announces sales, clearances, credit cards, so you can plunge yourself into debt. Now, this is a game, but it sounds like much like the world right now. Are you with me? 95% of all Americans are in debt and are living paycheck to paycheck. Less than, less than uh, 3% have any type of real savings. Are y'all with me? Here's, here's even what is even scarier. A recent survey of female teenagers discovered. Listen to this, guys. You ought to know what female teenagers are into, discovered that 93% of them said their number one favorite pastime. What do you think it was? What? Oh, y'all smart. The ladies know. Shopping. Sorry. I'm sorry, fellas. It's not dating. 
Now spend time shopping. An old shopping cart. One husband said, if my wife, one husband quoted saying this, if my wife doesn't go out shopping at least three times a week, I send her a get well card because I know something's wrong with her. Never before have people been as pushed to possess as we are right now. Marketing research is a billion dollar a year business. People are getting paid billions of dollars each year to make you feel uncomfortable, like, you, like what you have is not enough. Don't fall into the trap. It's scary. I mean, I go into the stores and I...